In the tenth week of training, recruits finally reached the culminating event, the Crucible. For 54 long hours, the recruits are constantly on the move, walking approximately 40 miles all together. A deep and muddy canal. Recruits are encouraged to remember their core values and quickly learn that all of the 24 obstacles they encounter can only be completed with help from the rest of their team. No station can be completed alone, so teamwork is critical to success. Get on, that one doesn't get over. While fighting fatigue and hunger, the recruits are encouraged to never give up and to keep pushing forward. They are given three meals ready to eat to ration and only eight hours of sleep during this time. Everything the recruits have learned during training can be applied during the event. Many of the stations simulate combat environments, which allows recruits to experience the stress of time management and critical thinking. No one obstacle is the same, so each recruit can get a chance to assume the billet of squad leader. Appointing a different squad leader gives each recruit a chance to assume a leadership role. The final event of the Crucible is the Reaper Hike. This is a 10-mile hike recruits muscle through with 70 to 80-pound packs on their backs. The top of the hill, known as the Reaper, is where the recruits attend an Eagle Globe and Anchor ceremony. This is where the recruits earn a token of an Eagle Globe and Anchor from their drill instructors to keep with them, completing the transformation from recruit to United States Marine. The Crucible is a 54-hour event that includes food and sleep deprivation. It contains 45 miles of marching with day and night events. These events pit teams of recruits against a barrage of obstacles where every recruit has to work together. The Crucible was challenging. Needless to say, the hills were very steep. Working alongside other recruits becoming Marines, while it was challenging, I derived strength from them because seeing their struggle made me feel part of the team because it wasn't just my struggle, it was the platoon struggle. I think that the Crucible helps build up these recruits. One, to teach them the full concept of honor, courage, and commitment, the core values. One, because of the citations that we read, they all embody the core values of honor, courage, and commitment. Just an example of what I mean by the citations of the Marines before myself and them, who've given their life to save another Marine's life. Uh, having the courage to do so, obviously, in a, in a frantic combat environment, as well as uh, this commitment to the mission to ensuring their safety as well as the Marines to the left and right. If I could tell one, one thing to a recruit, after a recruit, it would be to, to never forget the struggle, the pain that they went through, the transformation, where they were and where they are now, and uh, what's the importance to them. Obviously, the core values, but keeping that eagle open anchor in their left breast pocket at all times. The honor, courage, commitment card in their wallet at all times. Just the basics, the fundamentals of being a Marine that they learned here, to never forget it, and to pass it on. Week 12 on the depot is the most challenging week of training, and starts with a confidence chamber. The chamber is filled with CS gas a non-lethal tear gas and riot control agent, and test the recruits' knowledge on properly employing equipment used during biological and chemical attacks. The remainder of week 12 is spent undergoing the most defining moment of recruit training, the crucible. The crucible is the culminating event of recruit training process. It is a 54-hour field training exercise executed 
with only three meals and four hours of sleep per night. Designed to emphasize the importance of teamwork in overcoming adversity, the crucible culminates with a formal presentation of the Eagle, Globe, and Anchor, and officially marks the transition from recruit to Marine. Alpha Company's 11th training week, they take their first couple steps as Marines while learning about Marine Corps history at the Depot Museum. The museum has many exhibits that represent the different periods of Marine Corps history. The docents at the museum give the Marines a tour and answer any questions they may have about any of the exhibits. Later in the week, the new Marines are taken to the rappel tower. The rappel tower instills confidence in the Marines by allowing them to descend a 60-foot tower. Drill instructors teach the recruits how to properly fasten the ropes to participate in the event. Drill instructors ensure their safety by inspecting them prior to each rappel while also giving them instructions from top and bottom of the tower. This is one of the last events before Marines prepare for graduation next week. Thanks for watching this video. I hope this gives a little bit of insight of what it takes to become a United States Marine. If you liked the video, please check out some more over here. Until next time, Simplified Devil Dogs.